So it's your girl April and this video is going to be for some affordable hair like Then I will post the links below for you guys for this website here which is Miss Lynn Hair. We're going to put it to the test. I already went ahead and washed this unit last night. This is their Water Wave unit. 150% density. It's 18 inches in length and it's Virgin Brazilian. This is a 360. Last so night when I washed this, I did, but prior to me even washing it, I did have to like tweeze the hairline and like tweeze some of it out because it just was a, not, it wasn't really um, too dense, but I just wanted it to be a little bit more thinner. But if you are not into like, tweezing or like thinning it out then you can still wear it as is just you know for me I think I will wash it because it didn't look like this when it came to me so once you wash it it just forms waves like this I just left it on the mannequin and it dried like this so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take these right here these small scissors I always use this you guys know that I wanted to it has three combs in it um it also has the comb and the nape and the adjustable strap back here I'm gonna take this and this really dense brush. And. All right, ladies, let's get this popping. We're going to go ahead and style this affordable wig. So this is Miss Lynn Wigs. And if I didn't tell you guys and didn't mention it, it is a 360 lace wig. And it is 18 inches. I did pre-tweeze the front hairline just to give it a little bit more thinness. And it's about 150% density. So you do get a nice amount of hair for this price. $151 for this unit is not bad at all, especially because it's loose wave. You know, it's their water wave. You guys know I love anything that's wavy or curly because you don't really have to do much now for the quality of this wig I would say it is like an average quality it's not cheap but the price is really low I do believe that this is a great wig for anyone who has just started out wearing wigs because you're not spending a lot so therefore you're learning how to maneuver and style the wigs along with that taking care of them so I always think that starting out at a lower price wig would just be a great advantage and also for those who love wigs and want to add some more into their collection then you can definitely go ahead and check Miss Lynn out for their prices. So I just went ahead and put some styling mousse in this unit. Along with that, you know, I'm going to use my favorite gel, which is the Gorilla Snot Gel. And this just is going to hold some of those little baby hairs down, but not all of them. I really don't like to use too much gel because I don't want it too gelled down. So that is the reason why I use some of the styling mousse and a toothbrush. Along with that, my favorite hairspray, which is Pump It Up. If you guys missed my last video, you can definitely use Pump It Up to adhere your wig. Now, I'm not saying you're going to wear it for like two days but you can wear it for like a few hours like five to six seven eight hours and it will hold down the hold is impeccable i do like the hold of this i've been using pump it up hairspray for like ever so between aussie and pump it up they're really great hairsprays um but all um Pump it up is definitely good to just hold your lace wig down for the day. Just for the day, honeys. A little bit more hairspray, I mean, excuse me, a little bit more mousse and some water with conditioner in it just to re-wet and get the curls popping. Because I did notice if you play in the curls a little bit too much, they will kind of like get a little bit less curlier. So if you just spray some water with conditioner in it, honeys, it curls right up as you guys can see here. I do love that wet look. It's gorgeous hair and it's not too dense, which is great because if it's too dense, in the front is just a little bit too dense for me so now what I'm going ahead and doing is I'm going to pull the hair over I do like just to make the part on one side and then I'll flip the hair over that way it just gives it more height volume you know more voluminous I do like my wigs to be a little bit more heightened on the top so for me just to get them that way putting a part in on the opposite side and flipping it over over makes a whole bunch of just easiness it's just easy it's just way way easier so that's what I like to do but to each his own everybody has their own preference and this is just Three. one of them <laughs> So let's get into this unit. Let's review it. Okay, so Miss Lynn, it's $151 for 18 inches, 
150% density. It's virgin Brazilian water wave hair, and it's a 360. Guys, I did tweeze the surrounding hairline just to thin it out some. Um, it probably could have used a little bit more. I don't know. I'm not going to just over tweeze it, but I did make it look a lot thinner. Now, sometimes um, just to get my hair to like have more volume, especially when it's water wave, I will part it on one side and then I'll flip it over that particular side just to give it more volume. But you know, you can go back and forth if you don't want to wear like that but that's just how I do it just to make the hair more voluminous voluminous you know what I'm saying so that way it'll just be higher for the most part with the part right here I wasn't going to wear it on that particular side I just wanted to part it now for one thing I did notice with the hair it is good quality hair for the price of this hair it is like you know what I'm saying it's good quality hair um I did notice with these that curls do come out of it when you are playing with it so you will need to like respray it or remove it but if you're paying $150 you're definitely getting your money's worth it's worth it for $150 if you take good care of it it can last you a really long time if you're a first time wig wearer then I think this is just like perfect for you guys because you don't have to spend a lot of money especially if you don't know how to like style the wig or pre-tweeze it or just you know put it on properly I think like the lower price wigs that are still human hair are version here will work definitely great for first time wig wear so by all means you can check out miss lynn i did like the way i styled it and the hair did come out curly you know get yourself some curling products like some mousse and water conditioner in it just to keep the curls popping and i think it would be perfect it does take the heat but for this one this is the water wave um it's like a loose wave that's what i would you know call it. it's 18 inches 150 percent density so for the density it's really great um and it does come with the baby hairs also but i did cut them down and like i said i did tweeze the actual unit in the front just to give it you know a little bit more thinness especially if you would like to um like put it up in a bun or something like that you don't want the hairline to be you know too thick you know what I'm saying? So you guys, let me know what you think of Miss Lynn. Is it something that you would purchase, especially if you were on a budget or you were just a first time wig wear? So on that note, stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs this video up because you love me so much. As much as I love you guys, make sure you share this video with all your social media friends and family. And on that note, I'm going to see y'all in another video.